everyone! So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, it's a haul video, yay! I've been wanting to do one of these forever, so I'm really glad that I'm finally sitting here recording it. I am in the UK right now, which I said in my last video, um, and basically I've been traveling all summer, so I have had only what was in my suitcase for clothes, so I took the opportunity to buy an excessive amount of clothing for the winter. It was really, really fun, and I figured I might as well make this into something fun and entertaining for you guys. This is my first time, obviously, recording a type of, this type of video, so I might be like awkward. Well, I most definitely will be awkward. If I forget to like say a brand or whatever of a clothing item, then just ask me in the comments. But I will try to keep all the information on the screen for you guys. Since I've been in the UK, there's some really cool women's fashion brands here, so I've been able to check those out. Most of the stuff in this haul is going to be from Misguided. I love this website. It's super popular. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before, um, but if you haven't, definitely check it out. And then in the other store I was looking at is Pretty Little Thing. I actually saw an advertisement on TV for this brand, and that's how I found out about it, so good for them for doing a TV advertisement. You don't really see those for like up-and-coming um, brands, so it was really cool. It's really similar to Misguided. I really like their stuff. Um, most of this stuff is more like new age um, styles, and it fits like it hugs your body, especially if you have like more of a curvy body, so I really like their stuff. I bought everything with my own money, so it's not sponsored. Actually, that's a lie. There's there's two things that I was given, so I'll let you guys know. Um, but yes, my own money, like the money that I've personally made. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with dresses. So first thing I am wearing this one. <laughs> so the first one I am currently wearing, and it is a turtleneck, long sleeve, destroyed mini sweater dress. That description. <laughs> um, this one is, I really like. I've just added it to my new collection of sweater dresses, um, but I really like the turtleneck and. I find it nice to like kind of have a higher neck if you're gonna have a shorter bottom and this is the type of dress that I would wear with over the knee boots. Along the same lines, another, bear with me, turtleneck dress. So this one is just, the, it's, it's literally just the same type of thing. It's a mini dress, long sleeve, um, but not destroyed and it's in a really nice knit cottony feel gray fabric. So I really like this one. Same thing, I'd wear it with over the knee boots. Next off in the dress department, I got this dress. So this is in a nice mocha color, which is the only thing that I got in this color of my entire winter wardrobe so far, but I really liked the fit of it. I thought it was really cute, really slouchy and comfy, casual, and I really like the neck to it, so the off the shoulder look is actually really in style right now. So you'll see them kind of everywhere in the online fashion stores. Another name for the off the shoulder is bardo. If you are looking online, then it's really easy just to search that term if you're looking for clothing that is this style. This dress kind of goes below the knee, so it's a midi dress. I would wear with either ankle boots with scrunched down socks or mid-calf boots, which are also really in style right now. I don't have a pair yet, but I am looking for a pair. Any recommendations, you can leave them in the comments. Next, oh, I really like these two. I got another sweater dress. Um, this one is so cute because it has such a cool neck. This is something that I'm also kind of seeing everywhere, and it's a V-neck but with the collar still left on, so it's like a choker v-neck. It's really, really cool. I love it. It's so cute, and it's actually quite comfortable to wear. I bought another sweater online that has yet to come in in the same style. So this one is another midi dress. It just has a slit up one knee, so it's nice and comfy, and I like the fit of it. Again, um, really nice to wear with ankle boots or mid-calf mid boots. <laughs> um, and then I also got the same dress in black. Yeah, they're actually really heavy dresses, like it's heavy to hold them up like this, meaning that the material is actually really great quality, 
feels very cottony. I knew that I would wear this dress a lot, so I got it in the two colors. Also, I just wanted to note that if you're from Canada or the US, UK sizes are different. I'm usually a US two or four, rarely am I anything less than that. I'm therefore a UK six or eight. It sounds crazy and like big, but trust me, you're gonna wanna go. I've made the mistake before and went with my like US size and it, it was obviously way too tight. So I'm a six to eight, very rarely I'll be a four and it will be in tops but in bottoms and dresses, usually an eight. Last but not least for dresses, I got this. No, that's a lie. Next for dresses, I got this gigantic oversized sweater dress. Aren't the misguided tags so cute? I really like the like silver tag that kind of shines rainbowy. Anyway, so this dress is super baggy, super slouchy, um, probably good for people who are expecting, but um, this I'll probably wear with a belt maybe, or with a little corset top, which I actually got one, so I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, and over the knee boots, it's super cute with over the knee boots. You're kind of seeing these everywhere on Instagram. I really like the pink color of it. Maybe a little oversized for me, but actually downsized to this one in a four, so we'll make it work. Last but not least in dresses, I got this other huge dress. This one is in a really nice chunky knit and it's super, super soft. Really happy with how soft this one is. So this one's also another over the shoulder Bardot style, but because the neck is actually quite wide, I like to wear it with one side over the shoulder and one kind of hanging off the shoulder, just in case you don't want to have any wardrobe malfunctions where it just essentially slips all the way down my body. I doubt that will happen. It's definitely not big enough. I just still feels more comfortable with one shoulder on and one shoulder off. And again, as it's a mini dress and chunky and oversized, it will look really cute with some over the knee boots. Moving on to tops. First one, I got this little crop top. It's in a mauve color and it is another one of those ones that has the v-neck and the little choker type neck. <laughs> it's actually not the softest material. To be honest, it feels a little bit plasticky. Um, that sounds awful, but <laughs> I promise it's still comfortable on. It's just like, it's hard to describe. It's like almost like a crepe feeling. It's not like a super soft knit, but because it fits really nicely, I decided to keep it. What's really cool about these brands is if you're in the UK anyway, they offer free returns. So it's super easy. I just bought some things sometimes in multiple sizes to try on and then it was just really easy to return them. So I was like, why not try out a bunch of stuff? Oh, and everything that I mentioned so far has been misguided. I got this bodysuit. So as you can see the bottom. So this is really nice to just, cause it will just, you know, it will stay tucked into your jeans. And this one is an off the shoulder as well, or Bardo, but it's also very stretchy at the top. You know, it's gonna actually stay in place and stay on. And there's plenty of room in the armpits so that you can actually move your arms and not feel like it's gonna slip up or down. I found that since I tried a bunch of this style, there's some that just like keep your arms super constricted like this and you like feel like you can't move at all or else like you're just, your top's just gonna move around all weird. So you're just like constricted and like, you like can't put your arm on. But this one is good and all the ones that I'm showing you guys have passed that test. So I got this bodysuit also in black. And I just figure, like I said, they're really nice to just throw under a pair of jeans and you'll know that you're not gonna have like them come up or you don't get that breeze around your abdomen like you would with crop tops. So yeah, black and nude. And these bodysuits are from Pretty Little Thing. Moving on, I got this Bardo top as well. Also super stretchy on the shoulders, so you know it's gonna stay in place. Lots of movement here. And it's just like a really soft knit black soft t-shirt material. It's a crop top, but it's super cute with black jeans. Um, just wear a nice winter jacket over it. Next in tops, somehow I managed to get like a stain on this. I don't know how, because I never even wore it. This is another Bardo top again. It's so, so cute. It's a little crop top. Um, I would wear this with like a high-waisted skirt or trouser pants. This one has the nice 
detached sleeves so this way you can ensure that you're gonna be able to move your arms around which is perfect this is more for warmer weather so i wouldn't wear this one yet but i am planning on going on a little vacation later somewhere warm so i'm really excited to wear this there next up is a little cropped sweater top from amore london um amore actually generously gave these to me through Noel, so thank you Noel, um, and thank you to the Amore London owner. You don't usually see sweaters in this material with cool design details, so I really liked this one because it has a split crew neck style, so it's like a deep V and it's just super cute and casual but still kind of edgy and I've actually worn this one a few times. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, it probably will, but I have like, that uh, It was food, That's, there's a stain on it. I apologize. And another one from Amore is another cropped sweater. This one's in black, obviously, and I just love this one. It's so cute with jeans. So last for tops is this, oh, this is a really cute corset top. Um, this one is from Pretty Little Thing. I got this to wear over baggy oversized t-shirt dresses. It's like really cute to just cinch the dress in. And I think the style was seen on like a Kardashian, can't remember which one, um, or it could have been multiple. <laughs> I'd also try this one with the oversized jumper dress I got. I think it would look cute over it. And lastly, I got these suede trousers. These ones are from Misguided and they're really soft, really comfy. I think I got these ones on sale. Yeah, I got a size 8 in these ones and they actually fit really nice on the legs. They are a little bit baggier in the waist front area, but I kind of liked them that way because I got another pair of suede pants in the, the past that were really tight in that area and they were actually quite uncomfortable, but these ones are super comfortable. They almost feel like I'm wearing sweatpants, so can't complain. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, obviously it's my first time doing a video like this so I apologize if it was like didn't make sense or was not as informative as I hoped it to be but hopefully I didn't miss anything so if I did um, and I missed say where something was from please let me know in the comments below. Also if you guys liked this video and if you are interested in seeing more or if you have any video suggestions for me please let me know in the comments um, I really appreciate that I am starting to kind of reform my channel and I obviously got this camera and these really bright lights that I have on me right now as like a kind of sit down setup so I'm prepared to do more of these style of videos um, and I'd really like to, so hopefully you guys are cool with that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That girl is a real crowd, please. Small world, all her friends know of me. Young bull living like an old geese. Quick release the cash, watch it fall slowly. Ben! <laughs> Just wait for the video. Okay,